Well, good morning to you. Good to see all of you out uh, this morning. We are um, excited because today we have some baptisms to celebrate. And uh, we're thankful for that. We celebrate that. We celebrate the work that God's doing. Uh, so many that are being baptized today, if not all, are directly tied to our children's and youth ministries. Um, or people have got here through that some way or another. So again, we celebrate what God's doing in those ministries and also the fact that you're here today. Some of you are family um, that's here to support or friends that's here to support. So thank you for being here. We hope you have a great time in worship with us. To all of our guests, we, uh, we welcome you and we're glad that you're here uh, this morning. To those on Facebook, we welcome you as well. We're glad that you're here. If you're ever in the area, we would love to have you. So we need to get this party started and we're going to celebrate. That's what we do as a church. When one has come to know Christ and follows in believers' baptism, what you're going to see is two messages proclaimed with each person. They're identifying themselves with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ with going down all the way under and coming up. It is, it is uh, symbolic of the Lord Jesus Christ going all the way into the grave and rising again, defeating death, hell, and the grave. But also it's the laying down of the old person and the rising up of the new. And it's a commitment and a, a celebration of that fact that what Christ has made is a new creation. So we're definitely uh, celebrating this. Uh, it's going to be online, so they'll have a record of this. They'll be able to go back and watch it, and you will too. So be sure and share this. Most importantly, we praise God that still He is saving souls. And we're grateful for that. All right, Lord. We got Hunter here. Another product again of our children's ministry. We're glad that he's here, and uh, got family that makes sure he's here every week, and we're thankful for that and their dedication. Hunter, who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Upon your profession of faith in Him, I now baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son. And the Holy Spirit. All right, another product of uh, the youth ministry. How God is working in our youth ministry has just been absolutely amazing. So, right here we have Mackenzie. And uh, Mackenzie, who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Upon your profession of faith in Him, I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right. Here we have another Madeline. How many Madelines do we have in the church now? I'm loving it. Let's go get a couple more. What do y'all think? Again, we're thankful to have Madeline here. Uh, Madeline, who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Upon your profession of faith in Him, I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What you're about to see now is absolutely incredible. We have family members who found out about the baptism today and said, you know what, I need to follow in baptism. I need to follow. And then there was another, and then there was another, and then there was another. So you're fixing to see a, a, a family uh, multi-generational baptism, and I'm trying to think if I've ever if I've ever been a part of this before, uh, and I can't remember. This may be a first for me. So I'm very grateful for this. But here's Carson. Carson, who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Upon your profession of faith in Him, I now baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And you have right here, Kate. Um, again, if you see a repeat there, look, okay, we're not counting baptisms twice now or something like that, okay. But anyway, no, we're glad to have you with us, Kate. Who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Upon your profession of faith in Him, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And 
hand we have Kyle here. All right, Kyle, who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Upon your profession of faith in Him, we baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What's your name? And here is Mom, Jennifer. Again, what better thing to celebrate than sons, mothers being baptized together? I just think this is amazing. So, Jennifer, who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Upon your profession of faith in Him, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Jennifer's mom, Rhonda, is here with us. So, grandma, mom, and uh, sons, and everything. Grandsons. So, it goes uh, again three generations there. We are so grateful for this opportunity. And, uh, Rhonda, thank you for letting us share this moment with you. Who do you profess as your Lord and Savior? Upon your profession of faith in Him, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So as you can tell, uh, things are happening around here, and we praise God for that. But you may say that uh, today I never followed in scriptural baptism, believers' baptism, biblical baptism, which is what we uh, have modeled for you today. If you have not and you would like to, please see us. It is a very important thing that you do. Sal uh, salvation is not equated to baptism. It is something you do out of obedience when you've given your life to Christ. This is something that He asked us to do to again identify with Him and also to publicly profess that we belong to Him, we've identified with His death, burial, and resurrection, and we've laid down the old man and raised up. You know, I'm so excited, I may baptize you. Come on with it. <laughs> it right, you know, we're going to get into our children's scripture time. Thank you for being here today. We're going to have a wonderful time in worship. Uh, it's going to be awesome today. Are you ready? Let's do this.